All right, so we're doing a modded run today, and uh, and chat is feeling particu particularly sadistic. So I put a poll out on the YouTube community, and uh, this was the results of that poll in the lower left of your screen. The short version is, is I put a couple of what I would consider to be relative trios of weapons, and then I put a couple of not-so-great ones. The concept of this run is we are only going to have access to three weapons, and it's going to be one of each damage type, so one melee, one ranged, and one magic damage. I, uh, one intrepid commenter noticed this, and I, I kind of love it. Oops, let me let that, let me pin that so it stays up. Uh, they noticed that I put numbers and letters on the uh, on each of the builds. So the options were dagger, hand crossbow, wand, se uh, pistol, scepter and sword, axe, rifle and pow uh, axe, rifle and power staff, two-handed sword, crossbow and tome of secrets, and hammer, longbow and magic orb. The last two had a B in front of them and someone was like, "Hey, what does the B stand for?" And uh, at that point I had to reveal that it stands for bad. <laughs> so <laughs> so we had a, a couple of bad options. But we're going to do a run using only those three options. And we are going to do it by using a new mod that was developed by uh, myself and a member of the community. So huge shout out to Abigail for all of their help. Uh, can't thank you enough. And we're going to uh, we're going to be using that in conjunction with our standard rule, which is no ballistas, apparently. Humph. So let's uh, let's get this run kitted out. Uh, I think, I think I'm probably gonna go Apocalypse Two. I I don't think we need to. I don't think we need to torture ourselves too much. We're already torturing ourselves a lot. So if I'm going a no ballista run, I think Omen of Advanced Training, Omen of Dexterity are just absolute requirements. Uh, and then, and then things get a little more interesting. I could I could spam traps to uh, to totally defeat the purpose. Uh, a compromise of less ballista would be okay. Eh, we'll do it. But the two-handed sword is good, though. It has so many good qualities, which I will list now. Would you like me to list them again? Yeah, exactly. My my point exactly. So let's see. So what else? What else do we want here? I think I think Omen of Leaps feels pretty good. I don't think Omen of Mercenary is worth it. So I'm gonna grab Omen of Fierceness, and I think I'm probably ooh. If we skip Omen of Leaps, we can go Omen of Growth. That's a pretty spicy trade-off. I don't think leaps is that important. What's our we're going we're going Tome of Secrets, Crossbow, and Two-Handed Sword. Almost everybody is gonna have a ranged weapon. So I think that's fine. So now let's talk about the mod. I, I did a whole separate section in the stream about the mod, but uh, you're not gonna you're not gonna see it here. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we are going to go in and we're gonna add boundless mode just to add three more omens that are not going to be beneficial so much as just are going to now limit the items that we can get so by adding sword crossbow and tome here we would how dare you forsake the cult of leaps i i know i think i think omen of growth here though is going to be a huge engine in getting our heroes big and bulky so by adding these three omens we will now hopefully only see these weapons in all portions of the game so we're going to grab this and we are going to get ready for, I think Apocalypse 2 is reasonable. And let's, uh, let's get ourselves into a Glenwall run. We haven't done Glenwall in a while, so I'm pretty excited about this. I'm not excited about our selection of weapons. I actually don't know, does, uh, does this affect heroes starting weapons? <laughs> That's another thing that we, yeah, it looks like it does. Man, this, this mod for being not that many changes is just... It does all the things that I want it to do. So I'm really, really jazzed about it. So we got ourselves a Mithril two-hander. Heck yeah. Got ourselves a regular crossbow and a Tome of Secrets. Let's uh, let's get to know our cast of characters there. We'll start out with Monica. Monica is our two-hand sword person, probably. She has Hangman, Precise, and Brute. Yeah. Yeah, that, that works for me. Precise and Brute are actually a great combination for what we're going to be doing. We'll be able to give her a crossbow down the road, and I think she'll be very happy. Uh, Holy Ring? Gosh, I don't think I care at this point. I think the healing received is not going to do anything, and the loss of armor is probably going to make her a little more fragile. Next up, we have Stormy. 
a pickpocket, a heavy sleeper with troll's blood. That's a lot of regen. Oh yeah, wait, we get to level up heroes. Hold on a second. What are we going to do here? This is a this is a brave new world. Let's lock some stuff in. We do have bodybuilder, organic armor, vampire, sadly no blood mage. Might still be worth going bodybuilder, organic armor. We got boom too. This this hero is going to be interesting actually. We could even go we could even go adrenaline rush if we wanted to get totally weird with it. The organic armor. There's always a value to inertia because we do have a moment. We're probably gonna have a mo momentum skill on nearly every person. But crit master's pretty hard to say no to. We grab glass cannon and then. Well, maybe we skip glass cannon and then we grab quick reload. That's a, that's, this is a pretty reasonable build. Maybe sheer power. We do have coagulation. Yeah, we can grab coagulation. Sure. So this this hero is going to be a bodybuilder with a side of crit. We'll do it that way. For reasons. Okay, so yeah, so I, I like that build. Let's, uh, let's take a look at Stormy. So Stormy has just a staggering amount of health regen. Half of their health is being regen every turn. Yeah, let's let's not uh, let's not delve down the uh, delve down the rabbit hole. Uh, stun is not going to do us much good in this world. Uh, defensive training is pretty worthless as well. So this hero this hero has some struggles. I am not going to lie about it. Maybe we think about going... We can't really do a momentum build. Reasons indeed. Uh, Loreless. Reasons indeed. Uh, what do we What do we want to do here? We we once again have the, the holy trinity here if we wanted to do it. We could go like... We could go berserk adrenaline rush. And make like a dodge tank. If we're making a dog tank, dodge tank, nimbleness is going to be pretty unimpactful. Contaminate is still is evergreen good. This is a weird one, but I think I think there's something to it. I don't think we're going crit on this hero. Do we, Abigail? Do we have good capability for debuffing? I guess we do have tome. I guess we do have Tome. All right, let's go. Let's go more opportunism with this hero then. Maybe we'll go flexibility. We like a little bit of flexibility, but we won't want adrenaline rush then. So maybe we'll take exploit weakness and don't panic. And then back here, I think the nimbleness could be good. So this person is going to be. This person is going to be our opportunist. Sadist contagion with tome is the strongest thing you can do. Uh, did you see? Yeah, I, I did see it. Uh, I did see it in the Discord, but uh, I I didn't. I I'm skeptical. Ooh, wizard. We got wizard spiritual perfectly canceling out and then focused. It's weird how often that happens. There must be some game logic uh, causing that to happen. But let's see. What is your deal? You look like you're you're all about Crit City. Crit Crit City. Let's see. I'm loving I'm loving the runic gifts we got going here. We'll go Crit Master and Prox Shot. I think it's I think Prox Shot is still good because we'll go. We'll go Tome Crossbow on this hero. Grab some Mana Collector, just because. Some Legendary Assassin and some Don't Panic. We have a, a real lack of big game hunter, but I think we'll be okay. So Keon, what, you're, you're Crit City. Crit City, all right. All right, so this is our Intrepid Band, and we're gonna see how well how well we can do on uh, on a little bit of Glenwald. Are we going to let them come in? I think we should. We should we should be doing some corpse shenanigans. So let's do this. 
Keon can also be a blood mage. Let me take a look at that. Ah, without bodybuilder and lustrous, I think it's a I think it's a tough one. Yeah, I like I, I don't think blood mage works super well without bodybuilder, but he does have vampire blood mage. I think we'll we'll pick up a we'll pick up a blood mage because I think this is going to be blood mages are going to have a good time with this challenge. But let's uh let's get on into the the festivities as it were. Okay. Just going to get those splitters under control. Can't can't really re if I move to here, can I get a I can't get a shot off here. Okay. So we'll just we'll just do that. And yeah, these are these are kills now, so we'll be we'll be good. Hey, uh, Furio, doing well indeed. Really excited to be getting back into the last spell. We, uh, for those who are who are not keeping track of the schedule particularly closely, we took a, we took a week off from the last spell, which uh, we have not done since the released. Maybe it's been a long time. Yo, I was I specifically didn't want you to do that. I had specific designs on you not doing that game. Why would you why would you besmirch my good name so thoroughly? All right, let's Let's see who else has stuff right now? Just our sword friend. Yeah, everybody's going to need a ranged weapon. Oh yes. Sword blast, which is clearly how swords work is uh, is very much on the menu. That, by the way, uh, credit where credit is due, that was perhaps the, the greatest moment of when Jorbs streamed the last spell, was the first time he got a two-handed sword, and he was like, sword blast. I don't think that's how swords work. And, uh, and right, he was. Now, these guys are pretty debuffed, so I'm feeling pretty okay. Nobody's coming around this way, so I think we're I think we're good. So so Furio, is is DD2 your your game of choice? Is that a, is that what I am to understand? The two-handed sword takes its first victim. <laughs> behold, behold the majesty. I'm hoping one of these hits this guy here. No, no such luck. Let's see. Crossbow person, do you still have any? You still have a few options here. Can I get around far enough? I could kill you, but I don't really want to. Okay, that's a... Putting a little bit of damage in on him is, is a good start. And then Sword Hero is ready to rumble. Ah, Darkest Dungeon 2 is not for you. Okay. I Sorry sorry for the confusion there, but I, I gotcha. And I totally understand. Let us... How about our inaugural Sword Blast? What do you think? It do be blasting. Let's see. Let's see. Any chance? Okay, that doesn't... Nice. Okay, we love that. And then I would like... I would like for the... For this to propagate this way and give us a little bit of grace on... On securing kills, like I want to, I want to have a little bit of time here. So ideally, these walls hang out for a second. Let's see. Now I think I need to get you in here. 
This guy is a little, a little spicy. But all of these guys are looking pretty good. Next turn, our, our sword guy is going to get to pop off pretty, pretty nicely. Oh. Stormy, Stormy missed the memo. I was like, Stormy, your job is to... Huh. Can I move you over one? Stormy, your job is, is not to crit. We have someone else whose job is critting. But Stormy, Stormy can't help themselves. All right, and then sword friend, here we go. I never want to squander. Maybe a stupid question, but are perks in higher tiers strictly better than lower ones? Doppel, uh, definitely not. All right, second sword blast. May it may it blast with the best of them. Movement potion here is pretty nice. I know I'm I'm using up a little bit of it. Uh, that's unfortunate. Hold on, let's move. Oh, this guy's in an awkward place, isn't he? All right. We'll we'll just stand here to defend the uh, defend what's there. Let's see. Do we have a punch here? We do have a punch here. All right. Okay, beautiful, beautiful shot there. And then crossbow friend is going to have to take care of these two. All right. There we go. All right, so we're, we're doing a good job kind of keeping things under control-ish. Uh, panic is going to become a bit of a, a bit of a bummer here very shortly, I think. Move back into this corner. Eh, this corner is just as good. Who's who's moving into this spot here? Looks like it's you. Hopefully we just maim them. All right, we maimed them to death. That's a kind of maiming. It's not the kind we were going for, but... Let's see. So we got... We got a pretty nice explosive shot that we can open with here. My goal, uh, let's see, if I zap you, then you can move one tile further and we could get these three potentially. This, this guy is going to be a problem. I could spend my turn doing it, but as is the, as is demonstrable by the, uh, as, as the, oh, that's unfortunate. I was hoping I would get one more so I could get a momentum hit on this guy, but it looks like that's not happening. Well, we could... Let's do this, because it puts us in a better final position. And then let's see. So to get this guy, we're almost required to use our, our uh, heavy shots on him. Excuse me, we'll, we'll sneeze action. Let's see. So I think this is probably the one where we where we lose containment. This is your last action. You're the only person who can take this person out. So I'll do that. Yeah, and then we have three here. I don't think we're gonna be able to get all three with uh with the powers that be, and even if we did. Next turn's going to be uh, uncool. Uh, 
Armor piercing doesn't do much good against these guys. We could certainly lightning bolt, which would probably obliterate them. It's one of the two. This this is a maybe kill on both of them. It has to be right at the top end. It is. It, it's up there with some of the other ones. We the thought the thought there was we have we have enough mana, so I'm not too worried about it. Now this guy, I'm not super excited to take a big hit from him, but but this is why I love. I mean, do we just? All right, I tried. That was that was probably mana we should not have spent. But I think we'll we may be able to keep it under two. Because I'm gonna go back for seconds here. Now, if we move you like this. Oh, we have to go back one further. I don't know that I can I don't know that I can afford to do that right off the cuff. Our sword friend is just gonna have a hard time. So let's see. So I think I might move here. Hit you like that. Hit you with the momentum here. Hit you like that. Okay. I mean at least we got we got good value out of the turn. And then, now we have this. Yeah, maybe maybe not so easy to... Let's see, so I can move back. I think we, we debuff these guys because we're going to hit both of them each time. Because right now we're doing 144. That's not nearly enough. 196. Debuff then lightning. That's what I was looking at. We'll try it out. I don't think it's going to get any of the kills that we need it to. Uh, okay, did better than I expected it to. I put some respect on that. Now... We ice this guy, I think. And we have a guaranteed kill on this guy. It'll take us below our, our panic threshold, but we're probably just from getting buildings hit going to have gonna have problems. I'm gonna stand here. Can't move you. We could move you, but this ruin needs as much defending as anything else. Alright. Ouchie. No, uh, we're still we're still eking out we're still eking things out. Yeah, we don't we don't have any good follow up if we do that. Spaghetti spending four mana on a two kill doesn't feel great. Yes, it is a good thing we have health pots. Uh, you have one of them, so let's just use that. One of our heroes also has insane regen. Hey, Nick! So uh, so I, I mentioned it at the beginning of stream, but uh, we are doing a one type of each weapon run, which I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about. Let's see, do we just, I think we just do this, and then we do this. All right. We'll do that. We're going to get rid of you. We're we're definitely not keeping the uh, the panic train 
in the station, but that's okay. If we get some corpses, it won't be it won't be the end of the world. Hey, Alex, thank you. Two-handed sword, crossbow, and tome. Correct, Abigail. Extremely correct. Let's see. Can't really move you. Can't really move you. Could. Could fireball if we're feeling. If we're feeling rich. Eh. With it not even securing a kill, I don't know that it's worth it. All right. Hopefully, hopefully the corpses make up for the panic. I cannot express my disdain for the two-handed sword. Okay. I'm going to see if I can lure these two towards this hero here, because this is where we have the highest density of corpses, and I'm going to lure this guy over this way. It's not ideal. It's not exactly the place we wanted them to go, but... Oh, we do have to think about balancing, uh, balancing damage also. Or balancing kills. We did a, we did a pre pretty decent job. Keon, unsurprisingly, fell a little behind, but... I see you, Abigail, and I know what you're doing. Three mountains, you say. All right. I think that paid off in spades. All right. So. So here's the question. If we're not building ballistas, is it even worth going for materials early? Have I tried a hero with uh, with super armor slash block spiky counter, the poison perk? Yes, we we have tried those builds in the past, Nick. The the issue with spiky counter, and I I think spiky counter is super cool. Uh, I wish it was better, and it's something that I wanted to I wanted to fix. I have walls, I know, but we don't need that many walls, you know. Anyways, I'm I'm going to cash in at least one of these for items because I want to see I want to see if uh if indeed corpse piles are behaving the way that they we want them to. But back to spiky counter. So, for most knights, unless you have ranged enemies, the if your hero is standing here, the enemies that can hit a spiky counter hero are here, here, here and here. Now, if you get archers, this number gets better. But it's very limiting. It's basically you can spend a bunch of uh, potential of the hero on huge numbers out of spiky counters. And I've done that before. I've gotten to the point where spiky counter was hitting for thousands of damage. But it's basically just four kills each turn. And block is one of the worst stats. And when you're dealing with bulkies, they potentially have a stun. So there are a lot of things that make it hard to... Uh, Hard to work. Oh uh, no, the corpses definitely give more from a money value. We're we're gonna go we're gonna go corpses, archers, hunters, hoppers, twisteds, and bulkies. Well, if you're getting hit by a bulky, though, you're getting stunned. So I don't consider them a ranged enemy. So you skip them. Twisted, you don't really want them like death raying you because there's gonna be a lot of collateral damage. Uh, spearmen have armor piercing, so they're going to chip you down basically no matter how strong you are. Uh, spiky counter cannot, uh, cannot trigger boom. Uh, 
I I want to mod it to be able to because the cool thing about that would be then these four heroes or these four tiles would propagate to these second ring of tiles. But I have tested it and it has not. It does not work that way. Anyways, uh, since we're not going to be getting any items, I'm going to go ahead and do my standard demolition. Uh, I'll leave up some of the four ruins. Probably not this one. Uh, not this one either. But I'll keep this one that's here, and we'll we'll try and make it work. I I got you, Unlustrous. I got you. Yeah, I I was trying to add to that the additional kind of consideration that it needs to. Uh, Spiky counter needs to have some efficacy against them. Ugh, I don't, I don't like. I'm, I'm, this is so in the way and there's no way we're taking it because we have, we have three mountains and getting to six workers is going to be expensive enough. So this is going away too. I know sacrilege, etc. But we're only on APOC two. They're, they're in the way, Abigail. They're in the way. All right, I'm going to get rid of these two. I'm going to move them. Well, maybe I can get away with not moving them. We'll just upgrade these two to get our last our last one. All right. Let's do level ups. All right. So, crit bodybuilder. Right, we're going to get all the way to bodybuilder right off the bat. Ah, uh, no, we're not. All right, so I'll I'll hold off for a second on, on health. You you need some movement. Five movement was was abysmal. Take the physical damage. Now your your crit bodybuilder. A little bit of opportunism, I think, does you does you right. So I'll grab that. Everybody's gonna need a bit. And then this damage looks decent. Production on Glenwald. Oh, oh, my sweet summer child. <laughs> now, let's see. You're an opportunist. Why in the world was I giving you coagulation? The answer is no reason at all. We'll go leapfrog instead. Then we'll grab... Let's grab let's grab nimbleness first. I want to have I want to have the extra movement and I think it saves me having to pick up movement in the level up. Opportunism is good. Skill range feels pretty tasty here. Grab a little bit of that. Take the damage and take the AP. That is why we like uh, omen of advanced training. I I don't know how else to put it. Now let's see. You my friend you're, you're living that crit life, but I think opportunism is going to be our friend with almost everybody that we take. Let's give that a roll. Seven is good enough. I'll roll this again. Small damage isn't exactly what we're looking for, but the crit is exciting. And then do we like isolation enough to take it? Yeah, I think so. 20% this early is a big, a big bump. And then with 176, I don't think I don't think you're dying. Let's get up that up to 32. Okay, the trolling. The trolling is off the charts here. What what have I done to deserve such shabby treatment? All right, so this is this is the beauty of the world that we live in. We have access to a lot of tomes, my friends. A lot, a lot, a lot of tomes. And a lot of a lot of two-handed swords. Uh, my sweet summer children. Let's see. I'm gonna try not to avoid two-handed sword. I just I just want to say for the record, uh, my my goal is not like the easiest thing to do would just be to completely ignore Tome of Secrets. But 
I, I'm not going to do that. I am going to get at least one gold mine, but I do want to get second weapons here. They don't have to be anything fancy. These are just to bide time and give us sinks for, for stuff. So I'm going to grab these two. Get you something else to go with that. Get you something else to go with that. Now, Keon picked up some isolation, right? Yeah. I do want Keon to have another weapon too, which means I am going to forsake the second gold mine. For... I just get, I can get the 20 gold one. Double, double tome action. Now the question is, can we, if we really wholesale sell basically everything, which is always a good idea because pants are, pants are for, uh, for closers. Can we get to that second gold mine? Yeah, I think we can. In fact, I think we can without too much pain. Yeah, we only have to get to 60. This is not bad. We'll even be able to return some stuff. I don't care much for that. There's 60. Your goal should be to have four of each weapon in use by the six total heroes by the end of the map. Yes, I, I, will, I will endeavor to do that. This right, are we really going to be able to defend this? I don't feel like we're going to be able to defend this. You're our ranged person. Let's, uh, we can, you're our most melee-tastic person. So let's see. So we'll, we'll leave you with that and a physical damage hat. You, you can have the pants. Liability can go there. Okay. It's not bad. We're missing we're missing a few chest plates, but I don't think it's that big a deal. And then ah, there's just so much panic in these corpses. I guess I'll I'll still I'll still deal with it. And I'm really just keeping this ruin around in case we get we're probably not gonna get the the corpse bounty that we got last time. And now I need to decide where I'm gonna put our wall. I'm kinda thinking I do it about here. I think we can fit most of the stuff that we want to fit in. This corner is always a bit of a mess. But let's let's commit to this. We'll do something like that. Hopefully we're not going to be anywhere near this. I'm thinking our heroes are going to do pretty well. But and then also I want to get rid of the barricades. I'm going to leave two of these walls over here, but I, I want people... I want people pathing by this and coming on in, and in fact, to that end, we'll do that. Yeah, Doppel, indeed. There, there, is some, there is some darkness in this world, and in fact, this I extended this out too far, and this a little bit too far, too. We probably want to do something like this... And then diagonal, diagonal like that, which is a little gross. But we'll figure that out as we go. For now, I think we, we have what we need. I, wanting to destroy these corpse piles is significantly a part of my life. In fact, I'm going to do it. I want to try and get a decent rank on this knight. And they're just in my way. Whinge all you want. It's Apocalypse 2. All right. Over 50 materials, that's fine. All right. Knight number two of our crossbow, two-handed sword, Tome of Secrets run. Let us, let us begin. I want to soften these guys up without killing them. Oh, oopsie. Oh, so much so much for that plan, right? It, it is a very strong attack, uh, Broman tech. 
Agreed. Let's see, and you're... You're gonna do that, and then just kind of be done. This night is gonna be super easy, I think. But yeah, the, the crossbow's impale attack, it, we're gonna get a lot of value out of it this run. I am, I am confident. Oh, I forgot. Keon has a lot of crit. We gotta. Keon is our crit boy, so we gotta be a little conservative. Let's see. That's up 159, 160 here. So we get a little more value. Ooh. This is really almost a kill. Hmm, don't love that. Got a lot of splitters coming over on this side, so we'll have to figure that out, but... Just clog this up. Can we do anything else here? Yeah, let's get all those done and dusted. We're going to have to deal, do a little bit of work over here, but shouldn't be too bad. The This ruin is going to be doing a lot of good work for us. She's the only one making it in to do damage to the structure. Uh, do I... I think we're better off holding off. Let's see if you can one-shot them. Nope. I also kind of feel like I can kind of endlessly stall <laughs> enemies by making it take forever for them to destroy this uh this ruin okay that's pretty good you can block ooh that's already a, almost a kill Really liking the breakpoints I'm getting out of uh, out of this hero. I left myself in a slightly awkward place. I'll I'll use a movement potion to lessen the awkwardness. I think that's fine. And then she'll likely focus us, which probably isn't great because I I took away our armor. Uh... <laughs> Well, how, how debuffed are you? You're hitting for zero of zero. I think that's fine. Ooh, an elite. We like, we like that. This is where we start to fall behind a little bit. Because I'm not getting the, the tome debuffs that I want here, necessarily. But I think I can get them this away. Yep, that's beautiful. Now, let's see. I want to keep fighting retreat here. Aw, oh, boo. Let's 
Yeah, nobody's even coming in over here. So we have we have a lot of time to kind of do what we need to do. We're going to need to figure out a plan for you. I don't really want to get those kills. All right. We'll call that good enough for this turn. If I was a zombie, I would simply encase myself in rubber to avoid being electrocuted. Bro, you're you're playing 4D chess here. That's all I have to say on the matter. That's uh that's some next level shenanigans. My thinking here is I think we're going to have a relatively significant quantity of enemies in in like a space right here, so I'm I'm trying to kind of build that up a little bit. Fatality is a terrible perk, but actually, if you're successfully wounding enemies, I, I think fatality is quite a good perk, actually. Uh, I think that's been uh, a point of contention on my tier perk list. I actually think uh, fatality does pretty well in the grand scheme of things. Oh, this kills none of you. was darn close though so let's see so I think we can do that do that and then now at least we have a ranged attack to do that with okay we have a full turn here what do we need to kill? One, two, three, four, five. I think we, I think we just got it. Because these kindled are gonna melt. Give this guy a bit of a wound if possible. That was enough. All right. Looking pretty good, honestly. Looking pretty okay. We have five movement left. A little sad we didn't get this guy dead, but but that that seemed pretty decent. We're spending a lot of mana if I do this. And it's not guaranteed to secure kills, but I'm I'm I in the S rank right now. The greed is real. Ooh. Close but no cigar. Which is better, tome fireball or exploding bolt for the crossbow? Uh, I mean I think it depends, right? So you have armor piercing on the fireball. And you have Explosive Bolt, which is definitely more damage, but doesn't have the armor piercing effect, and it doesn't have the resistance reduction. So it's a, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Let's see, you, you have enough that I think we can do this the old-fashioned way. And then... I think I'm gonna put some put some damage down over here because I think that this is the this is the place we need it most because we're gonna we're gonna hopefully secure the kill here. That's that's what no armor will do for you, but we'll be okay.
One more hero far left was still in Haven. Oh, one more enemy, maybe? See, with one action left, we can't quite get a good position on that. I'm just going to see what the lightning bolt here does. All right, we're, we're emptying our mana pool here, unfortunately. I don't like... Oh, you still have... Alright. I like that a lot. Okay. So, let's see. You you still have one action left, which should probably just be... poking this guy for as much damage as we possibly can. Mm, questionable if that was the right play. You still have tons of mana, so let's start out with this. We've gone to the trouble of taking this guy's uh, armor off. So I would have liked to have gotten some chip damage in on him, but it's just not going to happen. Okay, I'm not I'm not angry at that turn, but we do lose the S rank. Wounded Kindle, yeah. We we couldn't quite we couldn't quite stop the bleeding completely, uh, but I think we'll be able to get the job done here. Hopefully. I said that with more confidence than I necessarily deserved. This, this elite is going to be a little tough, and I, I'd actually kind of like to leave it, if at all possible. Four enemies in a row, pure shot time. Could have been, could have been. Let's see. I was kind of looking at it from the other angle and thinking about a charge. Charge into a momentum hit. So we can get the kill. He's in the Haven. I think that's good enough. Maybe, maybe since we, we wounded him so miraculously, eh, we probably want to get him killed. I'm, I'm just curious to see how... See, the panic is right on the edge. I think we want the bonus item. Well, there is one more enemy over here for us to kill. We have three more actions, so we can spend two on you, just to see. With none of these guys making it in... I don't think we're taking wall panic for that much, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. Sixty six chance would need to get inside the tiles that are covered by walls, though. Yeah, I mean, that is true. I guess it's as good as he's going to get. All right, we'll do that so we, we secure the, the guaranteed that. And then your your pantslessness may, may come back to bite you. You may get a little bit abused here. Yeah, not too bad, though.
Who still has a uh, health potion? Nobody has a health potion. All right. Well, when you're sitting on all the tomes you could possibly want, they're, uh, they're as doomed as it comes to be. Minus 240% damage. So we'll let them come in. Ah, a hit for zero. The agony. Uh, I want to take a look at kills really quickly here. Just 51, 72, 75. Keon is lagging. That's not surprising. Tome is not great for, for its killing power. Only level four. Corpses are going to be a little slim. Slim pickings, I reckon. Three mountains and an elite. Okay. Just kidding about those uh, those uh, slim pickings. <laughs> Holy crap! That this is uh, this is a blessed day. All right. So with no one coming in from this side, I think we can leave this house. But I can't upgrade this house. This house needs to move. I think I got to move them now. I want to get my I want to get my buildings where they're going to be so I can start pouring resources into them. There we go. Yep, Max Corpse moment indeed. Let's see. So then now we can actually upgrade these. Which gets us to 8, which covers everything we need it to cover. Oh, what a bounteous day we have. I'm going to take an item just because I'm, you know, in the mood for either an armor or one of these weapons that we are, uh, we're currently tangoing with. And then I think I'm going to go like this. To here, I think. That's going to be our perimeter. It's not it's not perfect. I absolutely would, Abigail. I absolutely would. The secret is don't care about your gold and spend the resources that you need to spend. Now, I did I did destroy stuff so we're likely to get uh the item reward bug because I wasn't uh I wasn't thinking about it which is uh not a good look but maybe not let's see what we got here eh. let's see let's see if we have the bug we do not it's a pretty decent armor we need an armor the propagation is pretty minor in the grand scheme of things the resistance reduction eh, it's okay i might spend my other reroll here see if we can get something exceptional this is a pretty nice sword we'll grab it Ooh, this ring though has two ap on it for nine percent damage i'll grab that it's pretty darn good I do think moving houses should be a thing, though, Abigail. Ooh, meteor ring. That's a spicy meat of all. Maybe we'll grab that. Okay, so let's see. So our bodybuilder is picking up bodybuilding, and then I think I saw a blue health. So let's grab that as well. Start to get them ready to rock and or roll. And I do think that long term, we're, we're thinking about swords with this hero. So I'll take a little bit of momentum. That's fine by me. Is Media Ring allowed? I don't see why Media Ring wouldn't be allowed. I like this damage increase. I don't really like this. This is this is stormy, so we'll do We'll do this and we'll take a little bit of isolation. Poison is of no use to us. Picking up contagion is a nice thing. And then critting Keon. Picks up first blood.
We like the we like the the crit power even at fifteen percent. And then I got greedy here, but that's okay. Armor upgrade with the same rarity. Once you get there, it is. I want I want some power in the in the interim in lustrous. That was my that was my thinking. This is going to take the brunt of the abuse here, and probably this as well. So we'll get that going. I think this is probably going to be a lost cause, uh, but we'll we'll see about that. We can tuck our other gold mine in here to get that up and producing, get the cash flow flowing. Let's uh, let's equip the stuff that we have equipped that we have to equip. You're the lightest on that. Well, actually, who has the most damage though? You can probably take the hit to damage the most. Although two new tomes for you isn't bad, and then this tome had five mana on it, so it's just strictly better than that one. Yeah, no uh, no one-handed weapons, right? We don't have a great place to put an inn. I'm probably going to have to move the wall a little bit to make space for an inn, but that'll come later. So let's see. Let's get at least one mana well. I'd like to get a chess piece for you. What do we have on offer? These are pretty awful chess pieces, but movement is movement is is fine enough, and that at least gives you. Well, you're still at zero armor. Oh, you have a minus thirty trait for armor. Eh, then I won't bother putting that there. We just need to we need to keep them a little bit safe. Is all. Maybe we put them on the corner so they don't have to like body block. I think that's reasonable. And then where is the inn gonna go? Okay, let's let's move some walls while we're while we're doing things. I think right behind this column of trees is the best place to plan to put an inn. And by plan, I mean actually just place an inn. We're not gonna recruit tonight, but we'll do that. And then we can tuck our other mana well in here. And we'll start getting some scaling on our heroes. Imagine needing to buy uh, gear on day two. Couldn't be, uh, you know? Let's see. So these are both small. We could, we should probably get some warp gates out just to be on the, the straight and narrow. I like putting one right behind there. And then I like one kind of in the middle here. That'll give us some reinforcing capability. And then I think this side I'll leave... A few corpses that are not, these ones we don't have to destroy, but they're also not going to come in handy. I'll leave, I'll leave a couple corpses, but I don't want, I don't want the corpses ruining my fun too much. And then right now, are you, Monica is probably the least strong all on their own, but we did just make them a bodybuilder though. So their damage actually probably went up quite a bit with the sword. Yeah, maybe they just maybe they just solo aside and we can we can loop back. But let's keep people near the warp gate. We don't have a tome over here at all. I think we I think we change that up. I think I think rather than having two tomes on you, we go tome sword on you and we go torm tome crossbow on you. I think that's better. And then does does really no one need this mana ring? Uh, we just someone needs the mana ring. All right. And on that note, actually, I put this here, but I think Monica can absorb the loss of damage the most because their physical damage is so high. So I think they're already going to be hitting breakpoints. So that's that's potentially a controversial decision, but Monica being at nine AP is going to mean that we're going to get a lot of use out of that stuff. Okay. Let's uh let's see what we got going for this next one.